Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to wait for an element to be clickable. So let's get started. So there are different commands in this waiting mechanism. One of the command that I covered in the previous session was where we are waiting for the element to be visible. The other command was waiting for the presence of element. Now I'm going to cover waiting for an element to be clickable, okay? To click that command, we have to wait. Such kind of situation it is. I'll show you one example. So, you know, I'll open this uh, browser and open this application URL. And if you scroll down, you will see a checkbox field here, which you cannot click. You see, I'm not able to select this checkbox field or click on this. So here there's some instructions written. You can read that. The above Mr. Option checkbox field will be enabled in 10 seconds after you click on the below check this button. Even after I click this button also, it will take 10 seconds of time to get this particular checkbox field to get enabled and we can select it. You see, just wait for the 10 seconds of time. While I'm speaking like a three to four seconds already over, you know, this, you see now it got enabled. Earlier it was not enabled, right? After clicking this button, it, button it's taking 10 seconds of time to get clickable. So after I click on this button, I need to wait for this checkbox field to get enabled so that I can select it. Here is a place where you can apply this command. That is wait for element to be clickable command with the help of this command known as element to be clickable command, okay? So we have to use this command in this waiting mechanism to wait for the particular element, any element on the web page to get clickable. So let me demonstrate the same thing for you using Selenium Python code. So here we have some sample Selenium Python code for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser window. And here we need to open the application URL. I'll open this application URL and uh, paste it here. And after that, what I want to do, I want to click on this button. If I click on this button, after clicking on this button, it will take 10 seconds of time for this particular checkbox field to get clickable. Okay, so let me click uh, inspect this button so that I can click on that and I can start the time timer for that. Okay, so here uh, the label text is there. Copy this label text and create an XPath expression double slash button, double slash uh, button text is equal to. So only one element that is nothing but this particular check button got located. This XPath expression for uh, that button driver dot find element by dot XPath. Give the XPath expression of that button and simply say dot click. That's it. Okay. The moment I say dot click, it will take 10 seconds of time to get this enabled. Okay. Inspect this option. Okay. So when I inspect that option, let me inspect it again properly. Let me otherwise clear this and inspect it. Inspect. You see, this is a checkbox field. It has an ID. Copy this ID of this ID locator of this checkbox field. But I cannot directly select this because, you know, by default, it will be in uh, non clickable state, disabled state. So I have to click on this button. So I'm clicking on the button. After clicking on the button, I have to wait for how much time? I have to wait for 10 seconds. Then I can click on this. So let's wait for 10 seconds. For that, I'll write web driver wait. Okay. And I have to pass the driver and maximum time that I want to wait. Uh, let's say I will wait for 10 seconds. Okay. I'll wait for 10 seconds. And here I'll say wait is equal to wait dot until expected conditions dot. Okay. So element to be clickable. This is a command element to be clickable command. You just write down that and provide circular brackets inside that and say by dot ID and provide the ID. So after that, uh, you know, uh, I'll say button, some but uh, that is nothing but checkbox field, right? Checkbox uh, field is equal to, okay. So now copy this uh, checkbox field and write down checkbox field dot click. And uh, here, after saying checkbox will dot click, right? Uh, so I'll just, you know, hmm, for demo purpose, I'll add this uh, time dot slip that is three seconds. And here I'll write driver dot switch. And run the script. After run the script, uh, you'll see that it will wait for 10 seconds before selecting that checkbox field. It has clicked on this button. And now it's waiting for the checkbox field to get enabled for clickable, clickable nature, okay? Waiting for checkbox will to be clickable after 10 seconds it got uh, you know there is a problem here what is the problem timeout exception okay has waited maybe i'll give more time and uh, after clicking on this button click this button and it have i'll give 15 seconds i give on the timer 10 seconds right maybe it was taking one more second extra let's run this code It waited, but it was has not become clickable. So let's wait for a few more extra seconds. It clicked on the button. Now 
in 10 seconds that checkbox will will get enabled or become clickable you see now it's selected the checkbox field right you can see that it got selected check it waited for the checkbox field or some element to get enabled and uh, clickable and then it uh, you no know, selected it and the browser got closed finally so hope guys you understood how to wait for a particular element to be clickable with a practical demonstration and practical real time kind of uh, good example i have demonstrated this session for you so that's all for this session see you in the next session thank you bye bye